And here is a new episode of AI's Hit. Uh, this week, like every other week, we're going to focus on the photographer from the past or present, famous, obviously, um, which we will use as a pretext to see where AI is in terms of understanding photography. And uh, like every other week, um, uh, we're going to ask AI, um, which is for today, ChatGPT for the information, and DALI and Midjourney for the illustrations. Um, to tell us a little bit more about the bio of this photographer. Martin Frank was a renowned Belgian documentary and portrait photographer born on April 2nd, 1938, in Antwerp, Belgium. She was the second wife of the celebrated French photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson, and her association with him influenced her work and approach to photography. The first two pictures, like every uh, week from a, from a moment now, from it has been a few weeks, um, the first two pictures I ask AI, Dali always on the left, Midjourney on the right, to illustrate with a photograph of someone who looks like the photographer uh, and a photo of that person taking a picture uh, in the style of the photographer. And here... We definitely see, for those who know those two tools and have been following the series, uh, the style of Dali and Midjourney coming out. Maybe something more spe so special on the left with Dali, but um, yeah, let's continue. Frank began her career as an art historian, studying at the Ecole du Louvre in Paris. However, her interest in photography led her to pursue a career as a photographer. In the early 1960s, she traveled to the United States, where she worked as an assistant to photographers, including Fred McDera and Elliot Elisophon. Interesting pictures, depiction of uh, Belgium at a certain period. Um, quite actually similar in terms of in terms of composition. Maybe we can re we can see that Dali has a different view of the architecture in Belgium at the time. Um, Mid Journey has always this kind of very, uh, very well defined, a little bit too aesthetically pleasing way of depicting things, but um, could work. Not sure that there's any photographer style coming out of those two pictures. This exposure helped her develop her photographic skills and refine her artistic vision. In 1970, Martin Frank became a member of the prestigious Magnum Photos Agency, founded by Henry Cartier-Bresson and Robert Coppa, among others. Magnum Photos is renowned for its photojournalism and documentary photography, and Frank's work aligned well with the agency's ethos. Here it's interesting. I think um, it definitely could represent pictures of... Uh, of places of study <laughs> i'll call it like that the library or whatever um and i kind of think dali has a better rendering uh realistic rendering in terms of composition of the details uh mid journey for a few weeks like on this picture on the right uh, has been covering walls with pictures and and illustrations of different kinds kind of weird i don't know if that's linked to some change in the algorithms or whatever or the way I type my prompts i'm the one who translates the prompts uh, but still i haven't changed much so kind of intriguing but yeah not really any style coming out in my opinion throughout her career frank focused on capturing moments of everyday life often depicting the lives of ordinary people and marginalized communities her photographs were characterized by their humanistic and compassionate approach, reflecting her empathy for her subjects. She had a keen eye for capturing fleeting moments of intimacy and emotion. Here also, I think Dali does a better job of showing kind of implicitly that there's a photographer, maybe in a big city. I'm not sure it looks like New York. It's more New York-y on, on Mid Journey's try. But Mid Journey, I think that's kind of revealing today. And we've seen it every week uh, with Mid Journey. But here I think it's really starting to be almost oppressing uh, in terms of images. Uh, the subjects always look weirdly towards the camera. It's hard to find any subject turning their back to the camera. Um, and yeah, not really any style. Maybe on the, maybe on the Dali side, maybe a, a style that could represent a specific photographer, but not very obvious to me.
Martine Frank's work took her to various parts of the world, including India, Ireland, Nepal, and the United States, among others. Her portfolio covered a wide range of subjects, from artists and intellectuals to the elderly and disabled. She also documented the lives of women and the effects of poverty on various communities. Here an interesting photo of a what is supposed to be a press a photo press agency. Um, definitely has put some pictures uh, that look like they're put uh, for editing on the walls. Uh, so I think both are pretty good at it. I kind of prefer the Dolly version, which could correspond to photographer's style, actually, here. Um, on the right, I think it's more like a cinematic view. It looks more like a TV series. Midjourney has this really uh, kind of almost obsession uh, with showing us very detailed and very hyper-realistic in a certain style, um, pictures in a certain style. Beyond her career as a photographer, Frank was actively involved in promoting the arts and photography. She co-founded the Foundation Henri Cartier-Bresson in Paris in 2003, dedicated to preserving and promoting photography as an art form. She also served on the jury for numerous photography awards and exhibitions. Here again, I think we go back to a few weeks back where I was saying Dali has probably a better way of composing the images. I'm kind of stuck since an update where we could extend in a second time when doing, creating the pictures, extend to canvas. I think everything's too tight uh, with Dali uh, per se if you don't use this canvas extension tool. And I think that's a problem. I think user interface, user experience uh, in those kind of tools is really important for the adoption and having good results, and I think there's something wrong since a few weeks. Uh, on the side of Midjourney, uh, here it's really typical Midjourney, in my opinion, the kind of focal lengths uh, emulated and simulated, the way the subject looked at the camera. Otherwise, the style and period looks good for both. Maybe more of the photo photographer's style on the left? Not really sure. Unfortunately, Martine Frank passed away on August 16th. 2012, in Paris, France. Her legacy as a talented photographer, her contribution to Magnum Photos, and her commitment to promoting photography as an art form continue to inspire and influence photographers around the world. Here I think exactly what I said before. Um, Dali is trying something more subtle and more implicit. Uh, maybe we could find some of the style of the photographer. I, I don't really believe it here, um, knowing some of the work uh, this photographer has done. And on the right, uh, it looks like Midjourney work. And wondering if if their Midjourney, if, if boxes are not checked, if it just goes with its uh, own algorithm of creating pictures, which could be actually why week after week we find Midjourney really creating those Midjourney uh, varnish-styled uh, pictures. Okay, so for those who hadn't read the, the title, um, the mystery photographer is Martine Frank. And as we have, we still have the AI at our disposal, we, we might ask uh, AI, could you tell us a little bit more about the style of the photographer? Martine Frank's style as a photographer was distinct and set her apart from others in several ways. Here are some key elements that make her work unique. One, humanistic approach. One of the defining features of Martine Frank's photography is her humanistic approach. She had a deep empathy for her subjects, and this is evident in her images, which often focus on ordinary people and their everyday lives. She had a talent for capturing candid moments of intimacy and emotion, allowing viewers to connect with the subjects on a personal level. Okay, interesting. Uh, I think this week is quite homogeneous in terms of results. I think Dali does a good job of creating better compositions, more realistic. Um, I'm talking composition-wise, and Midjourney is making a bigger effort to be photorealistic. But here the compositions actually are okay on both sides, I believe. Uh, maybe the picture on the left could go into Martin Frank's work, not really sure. Um, one thing I realized this week is that it seems... 
Dali has trouble going into details of faces and the finer details that we could find originally. Um, the style is still there, the, the Dali style, but I think it's maybe something with the price of energy or uh, how the algorithm limit the quality of the renderings. I don't know. It would be interesting to know a little bit more about a little bit more about the the technological side. Or maybe it's this change of algorithm with the framing, which is tighter. I don't know. Um, on the side of Mid Journey here, it's kind of generic how it renders the image. Even so, it's interesting. Not sure it has anything to do with uh, Martin Frank's style. To empowerment of marginalized communities. Frank's work often shed light on the lives of marginalized communities and individuals. Her photographs gave a voice to the less privileged and underrepresented, highlighting their struggles, triumphs, and resilience. Her images were not only aesthetically powerful but also socially impactful. Here again, I think Mid Journey will. Uh, I don't have much to say about it. Always those st people staring at the camera in some weird ways. Um, on the left, I think it's doing a pretty good. Dali is doing a pretty good job of creating some some story and having something that could remind us, reminisce. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of of Martin Frank's work. And, and also, one detail that you don't see otherwise is I I, I translate the prompts for. Uh, for Dali and for Mid Journey, and while Dali definitely goes to black and white automatically when asking for something that looks that's inspired of with Martin Frank's style, which, which she used a lot, uh, almost uh, exclusively, um, and some many times actually, I have to force Mid Journey to do black and white, Be not because. Martin Frank never used color, but here it's really kind of omnipresent. It never gives us black and white, and, and the colors are really not really, actually not really corresponding to the period of time technically. So I, I sometimes I force a little bit the, the elements and, and I talk about it. Three, black and white photography. While color photography was becoming increasingly popular during her career, Martine Frank predominantly worked with black and white film. This choice added a timeless and classic quality to her photographs, enhancing the emotional impact of her subjects. 4. Interest in artists and intellectuals Frank had a fascination with the world of artists, intellectuals, and creative minds. She often photographed well-known artists, writers, and thinkers capturing them in their creative spaces or during moments of introspection. These portraits offered an intimate glimpse into the lives of influential figures in the cultural realm. Here again, I think Dali does a good job of putting us in a scene and making the photographer be more transparent, a little bit like what Martin Frank could be known for. Again, the framing is too tight, in my opinion, and that's probably a technical aspect, but... But I think it's doing a pretty good job here, and and while Mid Journey does its Mid Journey thing, uh, even so, it's trying to represent the words I type in, but it's not very stylistically uh, accurate. Five attention to detail. Frank's compositions were marked by a careful attention to detail. She had a keen eye for the subtle interactions between people and their environments. Whether photographing a bustling street or a serene landscape, she managed to find elements that added depth and storytelling to her images. Here are an interesting, two interesting pictures. I think Dali has improvised something about artistic. Uh, Martin Frank was interested in artists and and expression and performances and so that could be it. I'm not sure. It might be a random too, but uh, those weird heads. It looks like a performance. There's some more, I think, a more experimental nature in what comes out of Dali, uh, as usual. Um, and Mid Journey does a pretty good job of showing us a nice picture, uh, very aesthetically pleasing, super hyper realistic. But uh, yeah, not sure it could go into Martin Frank's style. Six connection with Magnum photos. As a member of Magnum Photos, Frank was part of an esteemed collective of photojournalists and documentary photographers. 
while her work aligned with Magnum's ethos of capturing the essence of humanity and societal issues, her unique perspective and approach contributed to the diversity of the agency's portfolio. Here again, very classic mid-journey results on the right. I won't discuss much more. Um, and Dali does a good job again of trying to create a story. There's The subjects have different pauses seem to interact between each other. It's definitely a posed picture, I would say. Here we can see what I was talking about before. The lack of detail is kind of disturbing since a few weeks, and that's very obvious here, but otherwise I think it's doing a better job. 7. Dedication to preserving photography as art. Beyond her photography, Frank was also committed to promoting photography as an art form. Her involvement in co-founding the foundation Henry Cartier-Bresson demonstrated her dedication to preserving the legacy of photography and supporting emerging photographers. Finally, a picture from Dali that has some facial details this week. And I think here it's, except for the framing that I feel is too tight, and this week I really didn't go into expanding the canvas. I didn't do the second step. I think it's a very important uh, interface, the user experience in, in those tools is really important for the for the adoption by users, but also for the results. And I think since the advent of this new tool of these new tools, the framing is definitely always like it was taken with a tele lens or or a smaller sensor or obviously for the photographer it wasn't a sensor at the time when this picture seems to be taken, but I don't know. It's uh, otherwise the photo is pretty good and could actually make me remind me of the work of uh, of Martin Frank and on the right I kind of found this picture very mid journey esque as usual but I kind of like the mix of elements that seems a little bit offset but yeah I'm not not really convinced there's any inspiration on style of a photographer here but more it's just standard mid journey uh, algorithms um, as we have a, a Martin Frank, a virtual Martin Frank at our disposal, um, so let's go for the usual weekly request of a custom creation. So, um, AI, could you please uh, share us a photo of three sheep herders sitting next to a fire, talking about their rough day in the hills in an intense stormy day, and a photo, obviously, in the style of photographer Martin Frank? So here, this this part of the presentation, the four first pictures are going to be Dali, and then it's going to be Minjorne, so it's separated. Uh, Dali, not not sure that the style comes out of those four pictures. It's definitely sticking to black and white. Okay, uh, it understood the three sheep herders, but it kind of is forcing a, upon us a dog. And I, on the picture on the left, I chose it from the selection that came out because I found this kind of mutant. Uh, sheep herder dog in terms of size kind of having the same pauses as the three other ones makes it look eerie uh, anyways um, the picture on the right that's better um, stylistically I wouldn't it doesn't remind me of any per, um, specific style but it works here again three pictures maybe the picture on the right could go into Martin Franks but it's, I think, that again, too tight a crop in terms of composition, and, and that's really a problem to, to evaluate the quality of the results compared to the style of the photographer when it's so non-obvious, to me at least. Uh, we'll be happy to have your reactions. Um, don't hesitate. Um, and mid-journey, definitely in line with what we've seen today, uh, today, yeah, today with uh, the previous pictures. Complete mid-journey style. Uh, I had to force the black and white. Looks like it definitely didn't understand that Frank uh, worked a lot with black and white. And I think, yeah, all the subjects, the human subjects, are always very aesthetically pleasing. They're kind of glamorous. And, and I think that's really troubling this week. Maybe in the understanding of mid-journey, it's that if those boxes are not checked, if it doesn't understand or hasn't had any um, training on the style of photographer, it's going to do something that it's used to do, probably. And so, yeah, we have... It's also had, has, it also has some problems with numbers. Uh, asked for three, does three, sometimes two. Um, 
the two last pictures, same thing, sometimes three, sometimes two, adds a dog. Obviously, sheep herders are always imaged with dogs, so both Dali and Midjourney have understood that. But yeah, not very convincing on the Midjourney side in terms of stylistic approaches. And anyway, um, happy to have your uh, reactions. Uh, you can type them underneath or propositions if you have other ideas. And don't hesitate also to go and leave a voice message on, on the podcast link. It's also down below. And yeah, catch you next week. Mm-hmm.